honeys, I know it's been a while, okay? I know I got to do better, but to make up for that, I am going to try and do the 12 days of Vlogmas. So if you honeys will leave me a comment and let me know which day that starts and leave me some suggestions of the videos, we can get right into it. But let's get into this frontal ponytail, my honey. Stay tuned. So today, this is the top of the morning, okay, KJ is gone, so I didn't know what to record today, but I'm like, let me think of something, I got all this time to do it, so what would I do? So obviously, I need to do my hair, right? So I said, well that definitely has to be the video, because this stuff got to go. Now mind you, my honeys, I have had a braid pattern in my hair for at least, hmm, like about three months under all the styles that you've been seeing it has been the same braid pattern all I do is go in and grease it give it some goodness and you know wash it here and there so I will wash it condition it and grease it like I'm washing my whole head and I just took it down and I still have crunchies like from the lace or whatever so I'm gonna wash my hair today finally I'm very excited too because once you ever leave that um, protective style in that long and you still take care of it you like to just blow dry it out and just see how much it has grown okay inches so I have been using this goodness that I've been using for a while and um, you know my hair fell out at the top so it's on its way back like it's coming back it's growing I feel good about that and the goodness I've been using I, that's why I really want to just wash it blow dry it out so I could see where it's at okay cuz I was thinking my honey to do a big chop then I was thinking no I don't do the big chop just let it grow out okay then I have to cut a bang like here or something to make everything level out give me like a nice little fitted bang but I don't know yet so now at this point, my honey, to get that nice, good, sleek looking ponytail, this wax stick, I'm trying to tell you, it comes in handy because it's it's protecting to your hair, okay? Anytime you putting heat to your hair, it's always better to kind of put a protective to it. For me personally, my honey, I take my hot comb and then I go around the neck, okay? I'm gonna go around all the areas that's out to be sure that I'm hitting every area that's out Okay, I'm going to go in front of those ears. By the time you swoop back your um, frontal to kind of blend it with that pony or whatever, that, that hair is already going to be sleeky straight on its own. But if you get your hair to kind of match it, sleeky straight as possible, it's going to take a little heat, my honey. So I've already flat ironed it um, with, with the protecting, with the wax stick. And then I'm going to just hit my edges. You know, I'm going to hit around the edges with the hot comb to get it absolutely sleek and that way to give you a better blend at the end of the day now i know my honey said this may seem like a lot of heat which it is but at least it's not being done every day especially in these winter months because this winter will tear your hair up if you are putting heat on it every day like that especially without oils and moisturization but when you are trying to get a sleek sleek ponytail heat is very necessary and also you want to make sure you part out small sections I don't think my hair is that thick so my sections isn't that small but they're small enough to get as sleek as possible and then as far as the oils go it will be more like a heat protectant you know being that I'm using so much heat straighten the comb and flat iron so with that being said my honeys we're just trying to get this as straight as possible so our ponytail can match our frontal I feel like today we're going to do the stocking cap um, method with it. So I am going to put the um, my hair up in the ponytail, okay? So at this point is where you will need to go in and just mold your hair. At this point, my honeys, that's as straight as my hair is going to get, okay? I guess it's not trained for heat at this point. I have not used it in so long, okay? All these protective styles, but 
it's greasy it's going to be eating during the whole uh, wear of this style then I'm just going to go in with that spray okay in those areas to sleek it up you spray you brush and you blow dry okay you spray brush blow dry make sure it's nice and sleek and in place that's what you're doing so you want to if you want it to swoop to the side you brush it to the side and then blow dry but make sure you do it before it dries because it's going to be hard so since we're doing this stocking cap method okay i'm just going to clean my little edges off because i got all that grease around there and you don't want that to mess with your install to the lace so i'm doing the same process here because i do still want my cap to be stretched okay i don't want it to appear to be too bulky under my lace so i'm just doing the same steps as if i'm just like laying a wig or something like that if you were just doing a slick back pony or something like that it doesn't matter if you got a four a, a four um a 13 by four lace or a 13 by six it wouldn't matter because all the hair that's on that lace will be swooping back into whatever ponytail you make high low whatever so if you're just doing a regular pony it doesn't matter my honeys of how close the lace and the pony is and yes honey everything that we are using in this video i would leave below in my amazon store so all you have to do is just click click the link to my Amazon store and all these products will pop up. Okay, I, I picked them out myself for my honey, so the prices are very reasonable. Just check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. When doing the stocking cap method, you don't want to cut that band yet because all it would do is pop like a rubber band and then you could kind of mess up all that hard work you did around your hairline to you know make sure that it's covering your actual hairs so i cut a little hole in there and then start to cut around there once i get everything cut from where i glued it down then i could cut the band off because i don't care at that point where that band flopped to but the minute that you cut that band my honey it loosens up and then it could just go ahead and probably make the cap slip back or something like that or even potentially yank out some hairs because it is on top of your hair so just cautiously cut a hole in there and then cut around it instead of cutting that band first and that's with any install okay whenever you're doing this cap method over my uh, forehead area where I'm going to be installing just to see how far down it comes and everything how it's going to be placed so therefore I would know exactly where to lay my glue now at this point is where some people would mark it you know with a pencil or whatever and so therefore they won't go too far down with the unlaced glue or even too far up okay so you won't have too much work to do after you actually stick it down so that's pretty much what I would do there. And this layer here is going to be counted as one layer, but it's also the layer that will be putting down those edges of the cap that has lifted up, okay, due to me cutting it or however. So um, I do count that layer as well. Um, I used to put the Gasta B on there, but it takes longer to dry, and I would have to literally put it on one little section and dry that section, put on another section, dry that se section before I would go along the whole hairline because all it's gonna do is not be dry on one side while I'm drying another side and be possibly lifting back. So I like it this way just to go ahead and use the lace glue because it dries in seconds, you know. You ain't gotta worry about it lifting back or moving around, shifting or anything. So that's why I just go ahead and count it as one layer 
and you typically will do anywhere from three to five layers depending on how long you want it on I personally will only do two okay that's one and then here's my second one okay sometimes I do three mine you know sometimes I go over and beyond but I know I'm not wearing these installs that long so I don't want to have a hassle taking it off and potentially you know taking out edge because I know that I'm not trying to wear it that long so it's on there on there and now I gotta get it off and I may you know rip out some baby hairs and you know we can't afford that we can't mess with that edge okay <laughs> so I'll just do my little two layers and wear it for however long it lasts my honey I'm gonna go and use that straightening comb and then I'm gonna put it back because since I have already cut on this lace and it has already been used the best way that I can install it is to have all those hairs out my way I don't need nothing in my way when I go to lay it over glue because that's just gonna make it messy that's gonna mess it up anytime you move and shift your lace my honeys it messes it up and gives it white looking residues and this and it just don't be perfect so if you could just lay it on that glue perfectly with no type of extra movements you will have a good old install so that's why I just straighten the comb everything back out my way so I can see what's going on and also after you straightening it back you will also be able to see areas that may could use some plucking okay so that's the only way you're going to get a nice natural hairline is to pluck it that way I don't pluck it to my hairline I do not I pluck it to how it looks natural whatever it's already cut to my head so at this point you know I want certain areas to look very natural so I'm gonna go to those areas and just make them look natural which is usually my temple areas when you do those little swoop baby hairs or whatever sew the cap down my honeys you don't have braids under there you know nothing like that so you don't have to but in the case that you are one that wants to feel super secure that is not going anywhere you could go ahead and use your pin and your thread and put it through your ponytail you could do that only thing about that is kind of risky because that thread will probably just cut through um, your pony you know now you're just sitting there sleeping and moving and shifting everything around. You don't know that it's shifting, but it does when you sleep. And that thread could be tough enough to be pulling on your actual hair. You know, your, um, what do I want to call it? The roots, okay? So you don't need as much. You just, like, that little section there would be the toughest and thickest section at the top of the pony. To go all down along the sides so above the ear like I'm doing, you don't necessarily have to do that. You could lock and load it right there, put it in a knot and be done with it and then proceed to the other side. But you don't have to do it at all. And I'm only saying that my honeys because in this video, which I will let you guys know um, later, but I took that lace off and did the style again because I did not bleach those knots on it and things like that. And I'm like, no, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta do it right. So I end up doing it all over again. And I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna waste another cap and go through that. So I didn't even use a cap. And I had that style in for like almost two weeks. So that's why I'm saying it's either or, okay? This video is pretty old to me, but new to you guys. So I'm gonna keep it 100 with my honeys and you know that. So yes, I dug back in, did it again, did not use a cap. So this step was very unnecessary, but I'm still going to show you because maybe someone wants to try it, and it, here it is, okay? It did not take my hair out. I had wore it for two days before I took it out, and it didn't take it out, but I'm just saying, now that I'm looking back at it, eh, I wouldn't have done it. 
But if you do want to do it, okay, you would just definitely stay organized with it, okay? So I did one side. I do, do one side at a time, okay? I started from the middle and went along one side, now I'm doing the other side. But what you do want to do is uh, move those hairs out your way and stick that pin directly in the thickest part of that lace and not um, through the actual lace because you don't want any lumps or bumps through there. So you just want to make sure you stick it through the far, farest edge that you could. You see that little white part in there um, all the way in the back through the thickest part of that lace. And then you just go ahead and cut it off. Okay, so you want to make sure you stretch your lace out too. So therefore, when you sew it, that it's not lumpy and bumpy as well. So you want to pull it from ear to ear as good as possible just to make sure it's flat, a good flat foundation. And then you just cut off the excess and then it's, that's a done deal, okay? But you know, this step is probably necessary for people that feels that the uh, lace looks more natural with, you know, the cap underneath. I personally like that spray, the even spray. That makes it look natural enough for me. I'm, I'm fine with that. Bleaching those knots made it look way more natural. That's why I didn't even need the cap the second time. So sometimes that, you know, just weigh your options with your style, how you want it to come out. But the less work is better, right? It took a lot of work for me to sit there and sew that down like that and without it being lumpy, especially me doing it on my own head. Anywho, going in with the Nairobi, you know I sprayed that um, hairline also because I had little pieces that was up. So that's kind of extra security as well. But I feel like that spray could interact with the actual glue. That glue will give you a long wear if, depending on how many layers you do. But once you go putting that spray to it, it kind of makes it more crunchy. And your install may not last as long as it would with just the glue. So to spray actually spray just the areas that was lifted okay fine but you can ultimately go in those same areas with just some more glue okay and then let that dry and then it will be a last a longer install because um you see how crunchy it was when i took that cap off only thing you got to do is put that mousse to it that crunch goes right away that's why whenever i do spray I comb through before I dry it or even put the band on it. So I would spray the area and make sure I comb it all through so that it won't be too crunchy and bunched up, okay, and wrinkled looking. Then I just proceed in to do the baby hairs, um, which will also help make that um, lace look natural, especially with any type of white areas or whatever. You know, it helps kind of get rid of that or dole it out. And then um, whatever's left, you make it just wipe off. But usually the mousse does it for me, and I'm, it's like a done deal. So now it's like take your time, do them baby hairs, and go from there, my honeys. Once you get your frontal in place, my honeys, okay, you got it glued down. You got the back secure, however, okay, you go ahead and you throw everything back up into your ponytail. Whether you got a high pony, low pony, whatever, you kind of comb your frontal into the style, okay? Make it the style. And that way, when you go in to do the baby hairs, you're doing them accordingly to the style. So once I lay my um, strip over that, those baby hairs, I don't have to go back in once they're dry and try and uh, make the style, okay? And blend it with the style. I comb my um, frontal up to my ponytail so that way, um, the ponytail is not done yet. You know, the ponytail still needs fixing and all of that. But we're going to get them baby hairs on out the way. So that way, once we put the, um, the edge strip on there, all we're going to do now is work behind that. Okay, just to go ahead and get our ponytail nice and secure and tight and right. Okay, so these are just steps that it's taken to get this style to come out properly or whatever. This um, frontal already was cut, you know that, so it already had baby hairs to it, so I'm like, why not, you know? I would like this style without baby hairs, but the one thing is at least they're not thick, okay? The last video that I have on this style is very detailed, so I will be um, putting that somewhere for you guys to take a look, and you will still get the picture of actually how to do the style. But um, those baby hairs were thick, and I didn't really pluck them and things like that, so... 
these baby hairs just came out gorgeously and um, make sure you check out the other video for more details swoop and loop your baby hairs get them back boom and then you go ahead and tie it down with your little wrap okay now this is my wrap my honey you can go to kaleshairandbeauty.com and purchase you one they definitely come in handy okay so it's like i have always been using this that and the third but i never actually had the the perfect wrap for this okay but once i had got these wraps and i just i used them consistently with my laces honey oh my god it just is it just laid and slayed the look like so basically when i put that wrap on there because my baby hair is laid i let it completely dry i don't care how long it takes okay but if you put the blow dryer to it it's typically five to ten minutes when they're completely dry you take that dang off wrap off omg it's definitely an essential okay like you need this So this is the part my honeys where you know I like to keep it nice raw and uncut okay this is where I went back in and uh, redid the hairstyle after like two or three days I um, bleached those knots I did not have another cap on and this is also just another way that you could do it uh, without all the foam okay so I went in and put the wax stick on there just to get it nice and flat okay and went through it with the hot comb and then as I proceeded to do the baby hairs which you see they're already laid I don't know why they look that good <laughs> but um I just had only needed to use just a tad of foam for this second go round I'm blending that with my actual hair um as much as possible okay so um these baby hairs i think the ending result of this video is not these baby hairs i think it's from the first um style um i don't know which ones i like better but it is what it is okay but i did go back in and redo it i was not going to leave it out i wanted my honeys to see um exactly what i was talking about but then we're going to proceed to where i left off and said once you put the edge cap on the edge band how you would start focusing on everything behind that band okay so now i'm actually going in molding my ponytail up blending it with my hair making sure it's nice and flat and i'll blow dry that as well as i go so just like i did my natural hair i'm doing the same with the actual frontal and um once i get everything sleeked up i'll redo the rubber band so that it, there's no lumps up there and it's not too much clutter so once all that's said and done, we're going to get right into this braid, my honeys. Okay, full detailed. I'm using Easy Braid hair today that is 36 inches. This is the hair that I recommend all my clients to get when they're getting the braided style also because it's already teased at the end so you don't have to do all the extra work so um, I'm using one pack and I seen this method on YouTube and fell in love with this so you just bust that pack down and put it along your head from forehead to the back and you use that back piece and wrap the ponytail around now since I'm doing it on my own head I am just trying not to mess that hair up and get it nappy we already know how synthetic hair is once it's nappy it's a hot mess <laughs> okay i'm gonna throw the whole pack away i'm not about to sit there and go through that so i'm being gentle and just trying to actually pull it through but not even really pull it just let it kind of fall gravity pull it something okay <laughs> so it worked out but then once i have it the ponytail on there tight enough then i'll just bring everything back now also me doing this on my own head my honeys i had to not do the braid so tight and pull on it because then i would have been detaching that from the actual frontal and it wouldn't have looked it right so i like to go ahead and wrap my um piece to hide that rubber band and everything you know right here at the beginning usually you would just take the piece out do the braid and then wrap it but I'm like, it's all synthetic. It's going to all come together, whatever. So I just do it all in one wop and um, get that on out the way and then proceed to do the braid. And like I said, you know, I don't try to pull on it 
as much as I can help it, okay? <laughs> Gotta have a strong arm for this. But as much as I can help it, I'm not really pulling on it. And then as you can see, your hair will be in there. So it's shorter than the rest. You have to tuck it. You have to just try to braid it and tuck it underneath the synthetic as much as possible. If you're doing it on someone else's head, you can actually see what's going on. But like I said, I need to get me a mirror for the back. But I pretty much knew what I had to do and what was going on. So I just was kind of winging it and going forward with a blind eye. But yeah, I went and made three sections of that hair. Just breaking it down not actually pulling on it because like I said once it's nappy it will get frustrating and I'm doing it on my own head them arms will just give up okay and then I'll just be throwing the whole style away because I'm not about to go through that but um that's the hair that I was saying you got to tuck it under get it out the way so it's not visible and then once I start uh, forming my butterfly braid okay those hairs will um stick out a little bit because I'm pulling on it you know and it's shorter than the rest so you don't want to make your braid tight because you got to go in and pull these little pieces out if the braid is too tight then you won't be able to just go up the braid okay but if you do it too tight I'll show you in a second what you have to do to at least get up to the top of that braid okay but for now you are pulling out these little sections from the edge of the braid so do you see how skinny those sections are that's only how much hair you want to pull because it's going to form that wing as a butterfly right so if you go in and just pull on that whole section you're just going to make your braid fat it's just going to start to get fat and fat and you don't want that the braid is going to get fat anyway as you can see it's getting fat so and as i'm pulling on it you see how the braid towards the bottom is like bending up that's what I mean to say, you know, that braid right there may be a little bit too tight, which is fine. We're not going to let that bore the us, okay? So, we're going to continue on up until we can't go anymore. That's usually typically what happens when the braid is too tight. Eventually, you're not going to be able to just smoothly pull pieces out like that. So, once you get up to that point, you have to go back down to the bottom and start loosening some more to give you some leverage for the top piece you know what I'm saying so we'll see that in a second but now I'm getting up there to that part you see how my braid is just really getting fat that means it was hard for me to actually pull those pieces so I'm starting down at the bottom again which is going to just be loosening it up for me to start working with the top more okay you may have to do that a couple different times my honey if it gets too tough to pull one little piece and the braid is just getting fat and not showing no wing go back to the bottom and then start loosening it up some more but to get around all of that just don't do it tight ultimately okay just don't even worry about making it tight just make a loose braid and it will start to be butterfly that is beautiful to me you know and then I can go down to the bottom some more and start loosening more just to equal out that braid so it don't be too skinny on the end like it just was but I said you know what I'm not gonna even worry about it I like it just like it is and I'm doing it on my own head, so that looks good for that reason. <laughs> and boom, man, <laughs> we got some jewelry. Okay, if you have not already, please go check out kaleshairandbeauty.com. Order you some hair accessories, my honeys. It never hurts to just throw twos and fuse in your braid or ponytail and bring it out, okay? And yes, my honeys, it is definitely a vibe okay i purchased this hairband at my local beauty supply store and it was 15 dollars, my honeys and if you like how this hairstyle came out okay please leave me a comment like share subscribe okay you do not want to miss what we got next coming in kale's nation because i'm trying to tell you that when i come i come to spill okay i don't play no games i don't hold back so Please make sure that you subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody that you know to come check out Old Kills, okay? Because you know you can't get enough of it. I'm just playing my honeys, I'm hollering. But anyhow, <laughs> make sure y'all go check out the website, okay? It's just the basics, slashes, and some more other insided things. So please go check it out, kaleshairandbeauty.com. Let me know what you think. And also, when you get there, leave me a message, my honeys, because I talk to my honeys any and everywhere we are, okay? Also, I'm trying to do the 12 days of...
Christmas, which is, I think, the Vlogmas. So leave me a comment below and let me know what day does that start. And also leave me a comment letting me know what videos we should do. We will have 12 of them. So at this point in the video, <laughs> I will see my honey on the next one. Uh, 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 the next one. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Girl, come out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. I tried to keep up with her. She, she's moving too slow. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Mm.